Yo, Cardboard Moses with you. Welcome. It is that time to get a break on and popping. We will be doing 2017 Panini Contenders Draft Picks Baseball. Six box half case break number five eBay style. So let's get on to it. It is a fresh case, if you're wondering. It won't be fresh for much longer once I uh, get to open in that thing. But, uh, you know, it's become uh, pretty much a habit at this point. Let me clean him up a little bit. Make sure he's uh, all nice and cute for you guys. Good luck, everybody. Thank you, Abraham. All right, let's see what's in this contender's base box. There are six autos per box. And we're only going to do a half. So we're going to do six boxes of it. Should I go left or right, Gilf? First, first three to reply on one side or the other in the chat. Guys, what side should I do? Left or right? I'll blow this up a little bit. Boom. I got a left side. And I got a right side. That's how that works, kids. This is the left, and this is the right. What side should I do? Stephen P. says the right side. Sports Cards Freak says left. We're at a tie. The next one is the tiebreaker. First, first three. First three. three. So that's only two. We need a third one. Left and you right. No, no, first three to say the same side. Ah, okay. So we need a consensus here, folks. We got left and right. We need more votes. <laughs> I'm not breaking this thing until I get some votes. James Cotton says the right. So that's two votes for the right side. I like this. I think I'm going to do this from now on. Put you guys on the spot. James and Stephen P. say the right side. One vote for the left. You can't vote. Well, you can't vote twice, Sports Cards Freak. That, that does not work that way. What up, Dylan G? How you doing, man? You want to vote? Left or right? He changed his mind. <laughs> I changed his mind. Oh, you're not even in the break? Oh, well then, dude, then go take a nap or something. Uh, wait, wake up when you're ready to, to sit with the big boys. All right, it looks like you have... I think we're going to go with the right side. Right. Now, I did do a half case yesterday where the, uh, the number one draft pick came out twice. So let's see what happens in this half. Flip a quarter, I would. F I, I don't have one. Actually, I think I do. I think I have one of those, like, uh, 50 cent, whatever, like half a dollar deals. Somewhere in my wallet. So this is all about prospects and the upcoming rookies. Later, G-Man. And as I said before, guys, if you've never made a purchase on our website... Go on over to RipCityCards.com, register for an account, and you'll save $15 on your first website purchase. Let's open up this last pack here. All right, good luck, everybody. Let's see what we got. Always swipe right for your Uncle Jesse. Always. We have Justin Dunn, number 10 out of 10. What's up? You locked it? Uh, what? Closet? Oh, it's already locked. I thought you wanted to open it. Oh, I didn't open it. It was already locked. Do you need something from there? Uh, could you, yeah. Let me get two boxes of impeccable football. What's this? That was for that right there, that cage. Why would we leave the key to that? I didn't. I didn't take it back. Thank you. Justin Dunn, 10 out of 10 right there. That's pretty low number to start us off. That is a, is a good, good little... Uh, Get a little card. Let's see what else we got. Evan White, number 299. Yeah. I'm sorry? Right, but I need two cases. Uh, sports cards freak. I haven't I haven't checked the mail, so uh, honestly I don't know. Uh, I would have to check that tomorrow. But I'm pretty, you know, if you sent it, I'm pretty hey. sure I got it. Thank you, Gov. 
So coming up here, guys, we got Tristan Lutz with the auto. Two autos out of the way. Going to be getting four of them. There are six autos per box in this deal. Let's see what else we got. You sent it on Saturday? Yeah, we should we should have it. I just I haven't heard anything yet. Ahmed Rosario with the auto. Very nice. Kind of a cool auto there. You know, it's not the most intricate auto, but uh, I've seen some pretty lazy autos. Uh, well, we might get to some here. Like, there's a dude that just, like, writes AH or something. <laughs> it's, like, the laziest thing ever. Alex Faedo, 299. That's a kind of a cool auto. You would think these guys would, like, practice their autographs. You know what I'm saying? But they're, you know, they're too busy hitting dingers. How many of you guys actually watch, like, college baseball and stuff like that? So, you know, you guys would actually have some kind of knowledge as to who the top prospect is going to be. Andres Jimenez with the auto. Like, I'll be honest, I find this stuff pretty, pretty tough to follow. I mean, it's not like I don't like baseball, but it's just too much information honestly like there's 1A then there's double A then there's triple A and then there's like the majors after that and it's like man my head hurts Frank Thomas to 99 it's kind of cool and this is the number one pick in the draft Royce Lewis to 99 so that's got to be a good one, I guess, right? What up, Maggot Meat? How you doing, man? So first box, and we get the first pick in the draft. Okay, not bad. But uh, we're not done by any means necessary. Let's see what we got here. What you doing, playing Destiny or something? Oh, I know. I, I I'm familiar with the movie. I was just, you know, I was cur I was just curious, you know, if you were playing Destiny. You know, I'm a nerd, so I just I just figured I'd ask. Brent Rooker to 99, and coming up again, the number one pick, Royce Lewis with the base auto, on card though. That is always good. Was that you know scary movie was good like the first two scary movies were, were hilarious but part three mm, Tristan Lutz though laughing at it see even he thinks it's funny I mean it was it was funny but like not as good as the first two and I'm going to say because the Wayne brothers were not involved. Craig Biggio to 99. And then we have Evan White with the auto. Now for those of you wondering, well, these are college teams. I wonder how he's going to figure out where they go well i'm glad you asked there is a resource that uh it's probably like i don't know i don't think it's the best kept secret but honestly at this point i think it is 
because a lot of people are not aware of this. But group break checklist is what we use to determine where these cards go. It is a wonderful resource. It tells me where, hey, Vladimir Guerrero Jr., where are you going to go? I don't know. It says Toronto. Is it the Blue Jays? I'm not sure. But group break checklist will tell me exactly what uh, team the player goes to. So if you have not already bookmarked that, uh, please do so. Uh, because quite honestly, it's, it's a little frustrating when people hit me up and they're like, oh, man, you know. I didn't know that they, that this player was not in this break for this team. Like, otherwise, I wouldn't have bought into it. Well, like, why would you buy into something if you're not absolutely 100% sure what you're buying into? So, please, go ahead, go to Group Break Checklist, and bookmark that thing. Because it really, it honestly is a great resource. You know, it tells you everything you need to know. Uh, what autographs are in there, you know, relics, uh, the print run, etc., etc. So it really is a great resource to have. Alex Fayedo with the auto. Let's keep it going. We got Carlos Aguiar with the auto. What else? What else? What else? I believe that's it for that second box, and it is. We've reached the halfway marker. Box number three. Aren't the uh, aren't the Yankees playing today? I think it's game five or something like that. Let's see what's in this third box here. DL Hall with the on card auto. Oh, they play in an hour. How big of an upset would that be if the Yankees end up beating the Indians? Now, I don't know much about baseball, I'll be quite honest. But didn't they have, like, the longest win streak so far in the season? Well, in the season, I should say. Rafael Davers for the Red Sox. That's a good card. I know he was killing it when he uh, when he got called up. Did some work in the playoffs, too. Nats Cubs are on now. Yeah, that game was supposed to happen yesterday. But it got postponed or something. It got rained out. Zach Collins to 99 from the U. And then Jeffrey Marte with the auto. See, look, this is what I'm saying. Like, you see this lazy auto? Like, I'm sure he has better things to do. Like, you know, work on his game. But, I mean, come on, man. Put, put some effort into that. And it gets worse. It looks like he just learned how to do cursive. <laughs> Can't stay in between the lines. What do we have here? We got Clark Schmidt to 99 with the on card auto. These are just jokes, guys. I mean, don't, don't, do, please do not take me seriously. Like, you know, I, I do try to entertain, you know, because this, this is, this is entertainment. 
J.B. Bukowskis with the auto 1099. Like, I could make fun of him, but, I mean, look at the face. Like, that kind of, you know, kind of does my job there for me. On-card auto, though, so that is nice. And then we got a cracked ice coming up to 23, Matt Dice. That's nice. That is uh, deserving of a top loader. So what is the, the Nats Cub score right now? What do we have? We got Brian Miller with the auto. And we still have three more boxes to go. It's 1-0 Nationals. What inning are they in? And what's the series? Like, where's the series at? Like, who's up? Or who's tied? Like, are they tied? Like, what's the deal? Top of the eighth, bases loaded. Well, who's, ba who's at bat? Cubs are up 2-1. In the series, I'm assuming. One more win, and the Cubs win. Gotcha. So it's top of the eighth with the bases loaded, but who's at bat? I'm trying to imagine the game right now. I'm going, going to my uh, my fantasy imagination world. Nats up to bat, bases loaded with two outs. Gotcha. Boom. With a pitching change. Oh, man. Things are getting real. See, you like you painted a picture for me. So, it's kind of like we're both watching the game. But, you know. Not really. All right. Well, so, we have Kyle Wright. On card auto to 99. Probably going to run out of top loaders at some point. Uh, yes, small town. This is a group break uh, for eBay. Chicago girls looking like they about to cry. Why? Cubs about to repeat. AJ Puck to 99. And we have Victor Robles. Speaking of uh, lazy autos, look at that. Like, really, dude? Like, for real? You couldn't, like, really sign your name? Like, you're, you're, you're going to go with the initial? Like, come on, man. You got to do better. Got to do better. Some of these call these are upside down. Usually when they're upside down, it's, that's how I know that they're autos or something. But here we have D.L. Hall. It's a 99 on card. Auto. Very nice. We have Mark Vientos. Cracked Ice to 23. Bernard Morenci's auto is the laziest you've seen. I, I, I want to take a gander at that now. I need to I need to look at that warlock and see what that looks like. That's like one of my things to do because I'll be honest. Like as far as the hobby, like I don't collect cards or anything, but I do appreciate like the artwork and you know the time it takes to you know to make this stuff and the autographs too. Like like it's like Christian McCaffrey has one of the laziest autos. Griffin Canning to 23. See, it's not like the prettiest auto, but at least it looks cool. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's different. Kenny G has a sick auto. Like, he just straight up signs a Kenny G. You know, that, I can appreciate that. Honestly, as far as that whole football thing's concerned, I, dude, I think that stuff is just, that thing is going to blow over eventually, uh, honestly.
if the players go on strike, though, different story. Luis Garcia. How would I sign my auto? I'll, I'll show you guys. I, I have an autograph. Well, it's how I sign everything. It'll do. It will blow over. Trust me. There, there's, there is way too much money involved in order for that thing to, you know, to go up in flames. It, it's just, it's not gonna happen. So check it. There was a grand slam. Oh damn. So check out your boy's auto. It's pretty simple. Boom. Auto. That right there. It's not the slickest, but at least it's not like. Oh, I autographed it. Hmm. Well, maybe you should fly up there real quick, Sports Cards Freak, and uh, maybe give him a shoulder to cry on. You know what I'm saying? I know how you do. I know how you do, Sports Cards Freak. Exactly. Exactly. You know what? I did go to. I went to Illinois for the national uh, a few months ago, and maybe it's just me, but like I felt like everywhere I was. Well, I was in Rosemont. The national was in Rosemont. It was like maybe like a forty-minute drive from Chicago, but no matter where I was at, everybody had like Cubs gear on. It was either Cubs gear or, like, very seldomly did I see, like, White Sox gear. But everybody had on Cubs gear. I guess they like their Cubbies out there. Brent Rooker to 99. Like, down here, yeah, you'll see, like, you know, every now and then people will rock, like, a Marlins or a Heat or, like, a Dolphin. But nowhere near as much as they do out there in, in, in Chicago. It's, it's actually kind of cool. Jeffrey Marte. With the auto, if that's what you want to call it. You know what? I want to see what Angela was talking about earlier. I want to see the laziest auto ever. It's kind of a, it's kind of like a hobby of mine. Julio Rodriguez. Now, what is that? Like some kind of chicken scratch or something. I think that's like a fusion of like an auto initial hieroglyphic kind of deal there but I give him points for creativity you know it, it could be a lot worse like Christian McCaffrey signs his stuff CM and the number seven like really bro like come on man Clark Schmidt see that's kind of a cool auto I mean not really but at least he put some effort into it you know as you can tell by the uh, the lines there losing their ink I, I don't know. What is this? Nick Senzel. See, another super lazy auto. Like, they, they should have, like, right before they sign cards, they should make them all, like, practice. And then go to like a representative or something. Like, what is this? This is Panini. So they would go to like the Panini representative and be like, yo, man, is this autograph good enough? And the Panini guy would be like, dude, this is your initials. Try again. Mark Vientos. See, like that auto? Oh, I'll let that one slide. Impeccable is indeed opening tonight at, uh, at 11 p.m. Eastern time. Johnny Bench has a pretty sweet auto. I've seen his autos before. He, like, legitimately signs his name. I can appreciate that when people actually, like, you know, you know what I mean? Like, like my autograph, you, uh, you, my name is Jesse. You clearly can't tell the, 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 the Jesse there. But there's a J and there's a V and then there's the S at the end. So you can, you know, kind of tell. But I, I clearly just, you know, try to do something cool there. But I can't appreciate when people... Legit try to sign stuff. Uh, Impeccable did come in the mail today, uh, Sports Card Freak. I got quite a few cases of it. Uh, we are going to be breaking one at 11. Craig Biggio to 15. That's a cool uh, looking card. Kind of looks like a kaleidoscope. 
Uh, we do have a case in the store. Uh, 27 teams left on that. We can get that thing breaking tonight, guys. I'm going to be live till about 3, 4 in the morning Eastern Time. So let's get to it. JB Bukowskis with the auto. See, that's a cool auto. It's, it's different. Like, you know who else has a pretty cool auto? Dwayne Wade has a pretty cool auto. Kobe Bryant has a cool auto. Like, see, those guys spent time putting up buckets. But then, you know, they also went home and, you know, they tried, you know, to, to have a cool auto. You're a pro darts player, James? Really? Nice. Yeah, dude. I, 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 you know what I mean? Like, I always appreciate it when the athlete or whatever, you know, takes their time to do anything. Especially, like, autographs. Like, if you're going to sign something, it's a reflection of you. So, if you, do, if you give me a lazy auto, you're probably a lazy person. And chances are you're probably not a baller. Is that true? Of course it's not. It's me talking shit. However, if you have a really nice slick auto, it, it'll go a long way. Because then people are going to be all like, well, you know, he, he may not have been the greatest. But have you seen that auto, though? Guy takes like half an hour to sign one card. But it's, it's beautiful. It's a work of art. All right, last box mojo here. Let's see what we have. Alex Lange to 99. See, I can appreciate that auto. That is cool. I know I'm not the only one that like actually looks at the autos and are like, hmm, I don't know about this one. Uh, Big B, no, I am not. I I will be, you know, at the end of the night, though. Nick Parato to 23 with the cracked ice. You know, since I don't know anything about baseball, the least I can do is, you know, talk some smack about the autos. Pretty much, Big B, pretty much. How's everything with you, my dude? Everything good? We have Shane Boz with the auto to 99. I need more top loaders. I'm doing well, man. Doing well. Uh, I'm a little hungry right now. I ain't going to lie. Probably going to fix me a little PBJ sandwich. But uh, that aside, yeah, doing well, man. Uh, I'm looking forward to the baseball game. The... Uh, the Yankees and the Indians should be a good one. Uh, I am always a fan of upsets. And pr nobody's probably ever said this in, in, in ever. But Yankees are an upset. So, well, you know, if they were to win against the Indians, it'd be an upset, in my opinion, anyway. Because weren't the Indians, like, the best team in baseball for, like, a long time? This season, anyway? I know they went on like a stupid winning streak. And Yankees being, you know, very young. If they win that series, watch out. Tanner Hoke with the auto. A for effort on the auto. But like, you can do better. Let's check this auto for Ronnie Mauricio. Okay, so this guy clearly, clearly cannot sign. You're torn. You love upsets, but you hate the Yankees. Oh, man. See, like this one I wouldn't call an autograph. Because he like, come on, Ronnie M., you got to do better, homie. He's probably a baller, though. So the last thing he needs to worry about is his autograph. Just keep balling. 
Don't pay Uncle Jesse. No mind. AJ Puck to 99. Why why is it that you're torn though? Is it because you're you're a Red Sox fan or something? Francisco Mejia with the auto. And I believe that will be the last one. And it's looking like it is. Yes, sir, Dean Kane, sir. That was the last auto. Now we had some cool cards here. Craig Biggio to 15. Matt Dice to 23. Justin Dunn, 10 out of 10. But the autos. That's what we really care about. So here we go. Francisco Mejia. Ronnie Mauricio. Tanner Hulk. Shane Boss to 99. Nick Prato to 23. Alex Lange 99. JB Bukowskis. Mark Vientos. Nick Senzel. Clark Schmidt. Julio Rodriguez. Jeffrey Marte. Luis Garcia, Griffin Canning to 23, Mark Vientos to 23, D.L. Hall to 99, Victor Robles, Kyle Wright to 99, Kevin Miller, J.B. Bukowskis to 99, Clark Schmidt to 99, Jeffrey Marte, Rafael Davers, D.L. Hall, Carlos Aguiar, Alex Faedo, Vladimir Guerrero Jr., Evan White to 99, Tristan Lutz, Royce Lewis, Royce Lewis to 99, Andres Jimenez, Alex Fayedo to 99, Ahmed Rosario, Tristan Lutz, and Evan White to 99. And that, my friends, was 2017 Panini Contenders Draft Picks Baseball 6 Box Half Case Break Number 5. Thank you very much, guys.